you know, I say this a lot nowadays at least that the contemporary Republican Party it's not just racist it's extremely racist and you know all some of you not all of you some of you you're like you know you have to provide proof of these claims provide the receipts. Well, it's one thing to talk about spokespeople for a party. It's one thing to talk about surrogates for a political party. It's one thing to even talk about supporters of a political party. But I'm not going to do any of that to provide these receipts. Well, maybe a tiny bit. I'm going to talk about the party itself, the Republican Party, and show you just how racist they truly are. Take this guy, you all might have heard of him, he's kind of an internet sensation, Vic Ramaswamy, yeah, he just came out of the blue from nowhere. Now, Vic, he's an anti-woke CEO, apparently. That's his claim to fame. Now, here's where the strange, hypocritical part comes into play. Do you all remember in 2007, 2008, when former President Barack Obama was preparing to run for the office of the presidency? Do you all remember this? Now, outside of the crazy stuff, like he's not an American citizen, he's a Muslim, he's a communist, a Marxist, outside of all of that crazy stuff, there was a huge critique in the Republican Party, in the Beltway, in D.C. It was everywhere. And the standing critique went like this that Barack Obama can't be president because he doesn't have enough experience. Yeah, and then it went even further. They said he doesn't have enough political experience and plus you all. They said he didn't have enough foreign policy experience. Yeah. Now, there were a few, tiny, tiny few reasonable statesmen in the Republican Party at that time. Gone are those days. One such individual was a senator from Indiana, Dick Luger. You all remember Dick Luger? Now, Dick Luger famously went on a foreign trip with then-Senator Barack Obama. And Dick Luger said, look, he's been a state senator. And he's a United States Senator. We're going to have to debate on policy. Because I don't think this whole experience thing is that, well, important. But they were like, well, wait a minute. And the Democrats were like, wait a minute. We had John F. Kennedy. He didn't have that much experience before he became president. He was relatively young, too. But the Republican Party was like, no, he doesn't have enough experience. He needs more gravitas. You all remember that? He needs more gravitas. He needs more gravitas. Police Navidas, he needs more gravitas. Do you all remember this? No, some of you have very bad long-term memory and horrible short-term memory. It's okay. He needed gravitas. Right? He didn't have enough experience. Now, fast forward to this year, 2023. Ravik Ramaswamy busts onto the scene. This is an individual who's now admitted to us that in his entirety of his 20s, he didn't even vote. 
And you know, the excuse he's given for this is that he was jaded in his 20s. He doesn't have any public service experience. Eslin Figueroa, you all go watch that interview on The Breakfast Club. Yeah, she, she decimated him. It was over. Yeah, it was over before it even started. He admitted that he was a leader of volunteers in a hospital. That's the extent of his public service, okay? So this is a man who's admitted that he's never even voted up until 2020. And he hasn't done any public service at all in his life. He hasn't been a mayor, a state senator, served on any judicial councils, none of that. And yet you all, he's prime and ready to be president. He doesn't have any experience, but yet, according to the Republican Party, he's ready to be president. Yeah. Now, if that's not racist, I don't know what is. Because Barack Obama, the black man, he couldn't be president. He had no experience. Even though he had been a state senator and a United States senator. This dude hasn't done shit. Didn't even vote until 2020. And he's ready to be president according to the Republican Party. Yeah, that's my first receipt. Here's my second one. You know, what must Tim Scott and Nikki Haley must be thinking. And I throw them in here for this reason, you all. Tim Scott has vastly more experience than this dude, Vivek Ramaswamy. And they're not even talking about Tim Scott. It's like he's invisible. Yeah, it's like he's the invisible man. It's like he's not even running for president. And why would that be the case? Oh, he's black. Nikki Haley, she has a shit ton more experience than Vivek Ramaswamy. Look, I don't agree with any of these people's political philosophical viewpoints, but if we're talking about experience, this woman has been a governor of a state. And yet, she's the invisible woman. They're not talking about her. Because two things, can be true simultaneously. The Republican Party is not only anti-black, vehemently anti-black, they're also vehemently misogynistic. Yeah, so Tim Scott and Nikki Haley, they don't stand a chance. Yeah, Vivek Ramaswamy, you know, he tries to pretend, you know, he'll do a little bit of rapping, he'll come on the breakfast club, but then in order to throw out red meat to the conservative racist base that he's appealing to, he has to come out and say, you know, Juneteenth is not necessarily an important holiday. It shouldn't be a federal holiday. We have one holiday to celebrate freedom. When Vivek, maybe he doesn't know this, you know, he could not know this. But emancipation is sort of kind of a thing that occurred in this country. Everybody didn't go free simultaneously on July 4th, 1776. Maybe you should go and pick up a book and find that out. Yeah. You know, this Republican Party, the contemporary Republican Party, it's very, very, very extremely racist and misogynistic to not even talk about Tim Scott and Nikki Haley, two people with vastly more experience than them. And this is what they do in corporate America too. You will have some dude that has no experience and you'll have somebody that's got a shit ton of experience, but they won't get the job. Why? Because they're either black or a woman. They'll give it to some white dude that just walked in off the streets. No experience. Yeah, this is the same thing that the Republican Party is doing. You're seeing it on full display. Yeah, it's no hiding this. This is naked racism and misogyny. Because, look, you're telling me 
that Vivek Ramaswamy is more capable of being president than Nikki Haley? How? He has no experience, you all. None. And if that was your central claim to fame to stop Barack Obama in 2008, why isn't it a claim now? Yeah, it's like that's not important now. Donald Trump likewise had no political experience. He was a bum. He had done nothing besides rip. Look, a lot of folks in New York remember when his planes in LaGuardia couldn't even take off on the tarmac. Yeah, so folks in New York knew that he was a con man and a grifter and a common petty crook. That's why they didn't vote for him. They didn't fall for that smuck show that he was putting on. Yeah, so they're passing over Tim Scott and they're passing over Nikki Haley. One happens to be black, the other happens to be a woman. And here goes this guy that tells you he's been a leader of hospital volunteers and didn't vote in his entirety up until 2020. And now he's telling you he's ready to be president. And the Republican Party, they're like, yeah, let's make Levick Ramaswamy our presidential nominee. It's crazy, you know. Yeah, experience doesn't matter. I guess it only matters and it's only applicable for black people and women. Yeah, can you imagine if Nikki Haley had no experience? She was just some chick off the street. Do you think she would even get into debate? Hell no. This dude has no experience here. None whatsoever. Zilch. Not. And the same was true for Donald Trump. Yeah, the same was true. No experience whatsoever. And they were all about experience in 2007, 2008. To the point where somebody who had been a United States Senator, they were trying to say he didn't have enough experience. Yeah. Can you believe this? I can because it's the Republican Party. And then they'll tell you, we're not racist, we're not misogynistic. Well, you all. They're either racist and misogynistic, or they're extremely hypocritical. You pick your choice. Yeah, you pick which one they are. Because if experience was a big deal for former President Barack Obama, then Senator Obama, if that was a deal breaker for many of them, then it should have been a deal breaker for Donald Trump, and it should be a deal breaker for Vivek Ramaswamy. But no, certain things are only applicable. Certain rules are only applicable to blacks and women in America. And that's who the Republican Party base is, and we all know it. It's crystal clear and evident. Yeah. So I bought you two receipts, just something to think about. Hey, look, if I'm wrong, if I said anything that was incorrect, in app, let me know. I don't think I did that. Yeah, I don't think I did. Yeah, but Vic Ramaswamy is a complete clown. Complete clown. He takes things, internet conspiracies, and internet viral stories, and he tries to incorporate that into his campaign. He recently said that 9 11. He is strongly insinuated. Let me backtrack. Because they'll say he didn't say it. He strongly insinuated and implied that the United States government lied about the truth concerning the attack on 9-11. Now we're coming up on almost the 21st anniversary. You all, I remember watching that. The second plane go into the World Trade Tower. I remember seeing it. And for the loved ones who's lost family members due to that, to come and tell them 21 years after the fact that the government who did a thorough investigation is not being open and honest with them. 
that's insulting. Yeah. So not only does he not have any experience, he also goes around insulting people. Yeah. Because to tell people your emancipation is not important to the foundation of this country, that's insulting. To tell people who lost their loved one to a domestic terrorist attack that it could and might have been an inside job is insulting. Yeah. And so this this kind of individual is somebody the Republican Party is holding up. Yeah, a complete clown, a complete fraud, a bozo. Somebody that doesn't have any experience, doesn't have any qualifications to not even be a volunteer in the White House. You all, he couldn't even be a staffer, let alone the president. Yeah, the Republican Party is a complete joke. This is their bench. Folks like Barack Obama swami. Yeah, complete joke. But I just thought you all should know that they're passing over Tim Scott. Tim Scott, can you imagine what he thinks about this? But let me tell you something. Tim Scott, he's got two things going against him. The first thing, he's a black Republican. The Republican Party is extremely racist. I don't know if he knows that. He probably does, but it is. The second thing is that he didn't come out and sufficiently kowtow to the insanity of the racism in his party. You know, when that whole thing out of Florida came about, where they started saying that enslaved people benefited from slavery, he came out and said, no, that didn't happen. Slavery was evil and wicked, and it was about rape and torture and dehumanization of human beings. That was when he lost a lot of folks. He was supposed to kowtow to the white racism in the Republican Party. And he didn't do it. Yeah. And Nikki Haley, she has a vagina. She's a woman. Sorry, Nikki. They're not going to vote for you to be president. You're a woman. You know, I see them all the time. They say, I'm not going to take orders from a woman. But hell, they wouldn't even be here if it was if it wasn't for a woman. But these people, you know who they are. They're sick as hell. Yeah, they're sick as hell. And then folks try to get other people to come over into the Republican Party. Say, oh, it's wonderful. They're nice over here. They're for making America first. Yeah, sure they are. Sure. Well, you enjoy being over there. We wouldn't go over there I'm speaking for myself. I wouldn't go over there if they offered me a trillion dollars. I'd have to turn around and I'd have to say, you know, the peace of mind that I have not having to deal with that beast that's over there is more comforting than the money. Yeah, because money couldn't solve all my problems. I would still have to deal with what Tim Scott and Nikki Haley are going through. Just being completely overlooked, all their experience, because they don't have the complexion with the right connection, and Nikki doesn't have the right jumps. Yeah, that's it. Period. That's the extent of the level of IQ in the Republican Party. Yeah, they're dumber than dumb. Yeah, dumb, dumb, and dumber. Because let me tell you something, Tim Scott would be a very formidable candidate to be. I wouldn't vote for him. There would be reasons why, policy reasons why, like the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act that he torpedoed. Yeah, he personally torpedoed it. I know this. So I wouldn't vote for him because of policy reasons. But I don't think he should be the invisible man to the big Ramos woman because he has a shit ton more of experience than him. Yeah, he's been a United States Senator for how long? And this dude just doesn't have a sh any experience, zilch nada? You're gonna really make him leapfrog over somebody that's been a senator? Yeah, this party is extremely racist. You will tell me if I'm lying. Does the
that not seem like that racist to you? You're going to make the big mama's mommy leapfrog over Nikki Haley? This woman was a governor. Yeah. And then she served as UN ambassador in the Trump administration. She was the UN ambassador to the country. And you're going to make her the invisible woman? Yeah, just because she doesn't have a penis? Wow. I'm telling you. Amazing. But hey, if there's other reasons why they're trying to invisibilize those two individuals, and I can't think of why they would, and put the Rick Ramaswamy over them, let me know. Because you can't tell me the Rick Ramaswamy has more experience than either one of them. He doesn't. He's a clown. Tesla and Figueroa said he's auditioning for a Newsmax position. No. I think that him buttering up Donald, he's really trying to audition to be vice president. Yeah, I think he's auditioning to, to be the VP. And he doesn't have any experience to be vice president either. Yeah. So, you know, I just thought I'd tell you all, this is another example of how the Republican Party, to me, and to a lot of others, looks extremely anti-black and anti-woman. Yeah. That's how it looks. That's the appearance it gives. Somebody will say, it's not. It's not. But you know, what people say and what they do are two different things. 